Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the shopping cart page on your Squarespace website. Now this is a page that you will not find inside your pages menu. The shopping cart page is automatically created when someone adds a product from your online store to their cart. Now unfortunately, using just the design menu in Squarespace, we don't have a lot of customization options that can affect this individual page. But luckily, we've got custom CSS. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use custom code so that you can change the colors and the fonts and even some of the layout options for the shopping cart page on your Squarespace website. Now, all the codes I'm about to share with you are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can imagine, there are quite a lot of things you're going to want to customize. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how to use these codes on your own website so you can make it uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. Now, the shopping cart page is an automatic page, so we're going to add all of these codes to our main CSS file under Design, Custom CSS. So I'll select Design, and then Custom CSS. I'm going to scroll up here and click on the cart. I've added a few demo products to my shopping cart so we can see what's going on when we add these codes. This is how it normally looks, and we are going to change just about everything on this page. So I'll paste the codes right here, and now let's take a look at how these work. The very first I've labeled for the shopping cart title. I changed the color of the font right here. You can adjust this number to be a hex color code or even a web safe color name like the word red. After that, I changed the font family to serif. Change this to any font you have installed on your site or just remove if you want it to go back to the default font that you use, in my case, Poppins. After that, I had it make the actual text uppercase, totally optional. You can remove that option if you want it to be the way it was before. And then I've also aligned it to the center. It's normally aligned to the left, but I added text aligned center so it'll be center above the cart, not just on desktop, but also on mobile. I really liked the way that that looked. Now, after that, we've edited the cart content itself. That's this container that's now a light blue. The first part of this code gave it a background color, and you can change this to anything you want, again, using a web safe color name, or you can use a hex color code like this one right here. After that, I've added a border radius. That's what's creating those curved corners. We can reduce the size of that a little bit or just remove it completely if you want it to be a sharp 90 degree corner. Then I've added a little bit of padding. I wanted to pull things in from the edge. If we remove this line of padding, you'll notice that things will scoot right up next to the edge and I really didn't like that look, so I gave it just a little bit of space. After that, we've added a little border here and I realized I have an error. If I remove that space, we'll see it. There we go, now we have a border around our cart. You can remove this line of code, change the color of this border, the thickness, or even the type. Let's try a 5px dotted border that is in a different shade of teal. There we go, pretty interesting, right? I've changed the width of this to be 80VW, so it'll take up 80% of the width of the screen. And then I've said margin auto. Margin auto is what's centering it here. If I remove that line of code, it'll shift to the left, Margin Auto will leave it centered. Now let's take a quick look at mobile so you can see here that 80VW stretches it to 80% of the width of the mobile screen as well. Now next up, we've edited the product row. The only line of code I added here was to remove the border between the two products. If we remove this code, you'll see we now have a line at the bottom of each of them. Because I was creating a container for the cart, I didn't think those were necessary, so I removed them. Totally up to you. After that, we have the product image. I added the border radius of 15px to kind of curve the edges in a little bit there. You can remove that or reduce it if you want to, and you can even get creative here. Like, let's say we actually want to twist the images a little bit. I'll say transform, rotate, negative 5 deg, and now our images will be slightly askew. You can get really creative here. Let's go ahead and give them a border as well. We can say border, 1px solid and i'll go ahead and make it red and i forgot the semicolon after rotate there we go so now they're rotated and they have a border again super duper customizable in the base code here i just gave them a border radius to curve the edges like everything else now last but not least i've also adjusted the title of the product you'll notice that's a completely different font color and font family so here i've said color 50bdb8 you can change that up to a web safe color name or any hex color code that you want and then I said font family serif. Now Poppins is the base font for my site, which I really enjoy. So let's go ahead and just change the font size here. Instead of font family, I'll say font size. And how about we try 1.5 REM? There we go. Now the title of my products is much bigger. So scrolling back up here, just a quick recap. 
We've edited the shopping cart title, changing the color, text transform, text align, add any font or text property and values you want here. After that, we've changed the cart content, the container itself. I gave it a background color, curved the corners a bit, added some padding, gave it a unique border, changed the width, and set it to be centered by adding the line of code that says margin auto. For the product row, we removed the border, but you don't have to do that if you like the look of it. After that, we added a little bit of a border radius to the image, and we did play around with adding a border to it as well, and even rotating a bit. And then last but not least, we changed the title of the product, we adjusted the color and the font, and just like we have with the shopping cart title, you can use any text or font property and value combinations here to customize the title so it looks uniquely yours. Whatever you've added or changed, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. All of the codes that we just used are listed in the description below. Just make sure you customize those fonts and colors and all of the other settings we just covered so your own shopping cart page matches the rest of your website and looks uniquely yours. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available on Notion, you can access over 500 selectors for customizing your Squarespace website. For lifetime access, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.